Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about how to make an app by the name Fortune Teller. Now, we all know what is a Fortune Teller. It's basically something related to uh, like telling a fortune, right? So, uh, we are also going uh, to make an app for the same purpose. So, let's start. First, we'll open the MIT App Inventor page, like always, and we'll click on Create Apps. When we click on Create Apps, you will see the list of all the projects that we have made till now, and it will open the last previously uh, opened project. So, what we have to do, we just have to open a click on projects and we have to click on start new project then it will ask you for the name like uh, what is the name of the project that you want so we'll simply write the name fortune teller and we'll click on ok all right so we need to change like if the name already exists then it will tell you To give it some other name all right then when you click on ok you'll see the project uh, under the name whatever name we have given like the fortune teller it is created so now we have to start making our app the very first thing we are going to select is the button we'll go to the palette option like in the uh, left side of your screen and we'll click on button then drag it and insert it on your screen so as of now you'll see the button is only at the corner of your screen then you'll click to properties and you will adjust the height and width of this button so the first thing is we click on height and uh, there you will see the option fill parent. What does this mean? This means that the size of this, the height of this button will get equals to the height of the screen. So I'll click on fill parent and I click on OK. Similarly, we can do this for the width of the button also. We'll click on fill parent and and click on ok so with this our button size will get equal to the size of the screen and as you can see here you are you are able to see the text text for button one written so we need to remove this also how can we remove that we'll go to the properties option and we'll click on the text and remove all the text written here and simply press enter so you'll see that now the text has been gone next thing what we are going to do we are going to insert a picture of a fortune teller so you can just directly download it from the internet and in your uh, computer then here you'll see the option of media under that you will see upload file option so we click on that and then it will give you uh, it will ask you to choose a file so i'll click on that and then i'll select whatever fortune teller picture i have downloaded and i'll click on open so uh, as soon uh, the moment it gets uploaded it will be shown here now we need to insert that picture in this button for that what are we going to do we'll go to the properties so we'll go to the properties and we'll click on image here as of now you will see that it's written none so we'll click on that and you will see the option the name of the picture that you have uploaded 
so i'll click on that and click on okay see now the picture is visible here the next thing what we are going to do here is we need to add some buttons here also for the first uh, the first thing we are going to do we'll click on layout and we'll select vertical arrangement we click on that drag and insert it under the picture then we are going to insert a label at, uh, from the user interface i'll click on label and insert it here then we are going to add one more label that will say that is to uh, tell you that that will uh, instruct us like a touch on screen to know the answer so the same thing we are going to mention it in that label so we we'll click on that label again and drag it and insert it here now as of now you will see that text for label 1 is mentioned in the first label we need to change this text how can we do that we'll go to the properties option we'll go to the text and remove this text and we can write no your future and click on enter similarly for the second label we'll go to the properties again and change the text to we'll write the instruction as touch your uh, touch on the screen to know the answer now see it's visible uh, you can see here like both the labels are visible here all right so this was about our designing now we'll move on to the coding part we'll click on blocks and we'll select our button now when button one click do we are going to use this block click on that and insert it then what are we going to do next we are going to check the label two and we'll say that set label two text will uh, set label to text we we'll use this block and insert it here then next what are we going to do we are going to uh, pick from a list of fortunes like we are going to give uh, some uh, two three list of fortunes and it will randomly pick from that so to create a list we'll go to the built in option and we'll click on list there you will see the very first second option make a list and before that under uh, there are one more option pick a random list or pick a random item from the list i'll click on that drag and insert it here so what does this mean it will say that it will randomly choose from any of the given options next we are going to click on list again and we are going to make a list now for to uh, create a list we'll click on this drag and insert it here now as you can see here there are two options given so to add some fortune statement we'll simply go to text and we'll click on this empty text box i'll click on that insert it here similarly we we'll, we can duplicate that and insert it in the next part so as of now i'm giving you only two uh, uh, fortunes first we can say is um you are lucky today and next we can say is Mm, you will feel good. All right. So in this way, we have given the fortune. Now, 
our uh, app is uh, app designing part and coding part is completed to check it again you are having two options first you have to download the mit app inventor on your phone and here you'll click on connect option then you'll click on ai companion the moment you click on that you will see there is a bar uh, uh, qr code that gets visible on your screen so from your mit app inventor on your phone you can scan this code and this app will automatically start running on your phone or if you want to download and install this app you don't want to use mit app inventor for that you'll click on build and the very first option you'll see android app dot apk so we'll click on that and you will see there you'll be you'll see a progress bar now what is this that whatever code whatever app project we have created it gets converted into app form that is by the format of dot apk and it will take some time so you have to wait and as you can see it is showing here compiling part 2 and please wait now once it gets completed you will see two options the first one is to download the application or you can scan this qr code on your phone and the app will start getting installed all right so this is how you can check your own app then you can share it with your friends also so this was it about the fortune teller app use this code and follow these steps to create your own app also all right so that is it for this video thank you